Good afternoon, all. I'm Sonia Suri presenting for Denton Core Commercial today, the Shepparton Art Museum, or SAM for short. Denton Core Commercial's design for SAM was selected as the winning competition entry in April 2017, so quite some time ago now. Construction of the building was completed in late 2020. And finally, in October 2021, the museum opened its doors to the public. In this presentation, I will focus predominantly on those design elements contributing to the sustainability of the building. We are very pleased to announce that it has achieved six star green star rating. Um, we've only been advised earlier this year. So a fantastic outcome considering that art galleries are inherently energy hungry. Um, so we are really pleased to um, yeah, have this, this credit, this milestone achieved. So the positioning of the building was absolutely critical to us. The site we found in Shepparton was ideal. It's located in a park along the lake, um, along a main road into town, so very visible. There was quite a bit of um, contamination found on site. There was a petrol station there for more than a decade, so some decontamination waste removal was, of course, required. We teamed up with Landscape Designers Urban Initiatives, very critical in our design stage already. They have very expansive experience with the park and the wetlands there. Together, we designed a building solution in support of the floodways on the site. A series of bioswales vegetated with indigenous plants um, and integrated into the, into the surrounding landscape was the focus. Retention and repair was really the guiding principle. The logical solution for us was a compact building, a small footprint, and, and set so into the richly configured parkland that a lot of landscape was um, retained uh, to be used by the Shepparton community, of course. I don't know if you have visited Shepparton, it is very flat. You can appreciate from this image. So to be elevated is um, quite a unique proposition and it has many advantages. Um, so the small footprint maximizing the much loved park space was critical and then we extruded the small footprint up over five floors to accommodate 5300 square meters of briefed area. Secondly, being tall of course created this landmark, this object, another a key criteria in the brief, a landmark for Shepparton visible from a distance and upon approach. We created a very compact building, as I said, a cube, which from an envelope design perspective is really the prerequisite for a sustainable building, also from a services perspective. Um, so reduced material, little re-entrance in the facade, uh, de decreasing thermal transfer and in turn energy demands were um, the focus. So an, an operational building that's um, obviously low in cost and low in energy consumption. We wanted SAM to be viewable in the round, a building with four frontages rather than a front and the back side. So a, a lens sculpture was the objective. There are some references, design um, inspiration, Richard Serra's installation in the Qatari desert here with those thin monolithic plates. And similarly, we conceived SAM as these L-shaped plates hovering in the landscape. And they, they appear to be um, suspended. And then they come together various, at various heights, various materiality. And they all have those um, canopies providing identity and frontage to the four um, building entries. So they have different coloring. Um, yeah, identity was critical. There's in fact different uses in the building, not just the Shepparton Art Museum. There's an indigenous design community, visitor information center, as well as a cafe. So some perforation you can see on these facade plates 
but um, window placement was deliberately reduced. Uh, daylight is not desired in the galleries proper. However, some window placements were deliberately um, organized in order to um, see into the transitional spaces and see out of those transi transi transitional spaces, the central galleria as we refer to it. Um, so the same applies to the inside. This is now obviously a view from within the central galleria, again, connecting out to the landscape. So a quick look um, at the floor plans. This is the ground floor. The entrance is over on the right. This is the reception area for Sam, visitor information center on the south, Keela Arts on the west, connecting to the lake. And then on the north, we've cleverly concealed all of the loading and quite a bit of plant under an art hill. And above the art hill is the entrance to the cafe. So that's sort of our um, additional frontage there. One floor up, there's the cafe now elevated above the art hill. There's the first gallery space and the central gallery I refer to. Another gallery space on the floor above, smaller open galleries. Um, there is the art storage, of course, and some back of house areas. So it needs to be noted here that um, the whole museum is, uh, has, has applied to its facade design higher um, air leakage and uh, permeability rating. So passive house design criteria were considered. It's not passive house rated, but air tightness testing was required to some of the gallery spaces to achieve um, double A ASHRAE rating. So the museum can take um, can take certain pieces of art on loan. So we've actually achieved an air leakage rate of less than two cubic meters per hour per square meter, which is significantly better than what the BCA is asking for. So the zoning of these spaces was really um, important. This is, for example, the area with the higher rating and of course the art storage as well. One minute remaining. So these spaces were um, fitted with glass sliding doors, so they can in fact be closed up. Reduced material palette throughout, some um, black bud recycled timber, eucalypt veneers, and an amazing um, uh, experience with the Keela artists to create um, some of these internal um, fabrics used for internal upholstery with Spacecraft Studio. Quick look at level four, the event space is up here and a beautiful terrace linking us back to the lake and to the landscape beyond. Fantastic outlook and it's really used by the community now. There's lots of posts on Instagram with uh, yoga classes and drinks up there. Um, the outlook over the wetlands and there is the building finished, um, settled quite well into the landscape and, and with the community we find. And that's all from me, thank you.